issue is resolved. Leave our kids alone. 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 This morning I went down and joined the protests outside Channel 7 Sunrise Studios in Martin Place in Sydney. People have been coming out every day for the last week since early last week Sunrise aired a segment in response to the Federal Minister for Children and Families, David Gillespie, who came out with a proposal that Aboriginal children should be adopted by more white families to save them from abuse. And many people are saying this is basically a continuation of the stolen generation of pulling Aboriginal children out of Aboriginal families and forcing them into white families. And Sunrise on this particular segment had an all white panel in which one of the people literally advocated for a second stolen generation. Just like the first stolen generation where a lot of children were taken because it was for their well-being, we need to do it again. It is absolutely disgusting to see that aired on TV and not just that, but Sunrise were uncritical about it, got their facts wrong on this issue. They never mention the increasingly alarming statistics of Aboriginal children being taken away from Aboriginal families, let alone even dealing with the trauma this is causing to Aboriginal families. They never even attempted to explore that. They never even had an Aboriginal voice on this panel. And the censorship doesn't even stop there. I mean, the fact that people were protesting literally right in front of their studios, like you could see images through, like you see the reflections on the glass in the studio that people were protesting. And so then Sunrise, literally dropped an entire screen to black out the protests and just ran some archival footage of Martin Place. Like they literally censored the people outside protesting. And when we talk about freedom of speech and censorship, this is one of the key things that we're getting at when we see platforms that have major national audiences and are on national free-to-air televisions that people across the country are accessing, in particular Channel 7 Sunrise, have a program like this which does not include Aboriginal voices. And this is a program that in the past has had Milo Jan Palopoulos, alt-right troll from America. They had him speaking and sharing his views. On Channel 7, they've had Blair Cottrell, who's a far-right neo-Nazi in Australia. And they've also given significant airtime to politicians such as Pauline Hanson. In fact, they gave her a lot of airtime before she was even elected that helped her election campaign. So they have consistently given right-wing commentators significant amounts of airtime, and yet you see them never any wildest dreams could you imagine inviting any of the people protesting outside to be on their show. They won't even show them in the background. And I mean, I really don't think this is for regulatory requirements that they came out in a media statement and said, because if you look at Sunrise's programs in the past, there's plenty of times when celebrities have spoken on their shows and they've shown fans in the background waving signs and yelling and screaming and all of that's been perfectly fine to be shown there. But as soon as people protest to have their voices heard in the program, Sunrise shuts it out completely. In my mind, what Sunrise is doing is clearly censoring Aboriginal voices. Even though Sunrise has attempted to censor the protests against its coverage, the protests have been picked up by numerous media outlets across the country, in particular The Guardian, The Sydney Morning Herald, and it was featured prominently on ABC's Media Watch. In response to this public pressure that's growing on Sunrise, Sunrise Today had a program where they had three Aboriginal people talking about the issue of taking Aboriginal children away from families. I mean, this is something you just could not have imagined happening before people actually took a stand and started protesting against Sunrise's coverage. And this is a win, though the campaign is not stopped there. People are still demanding for Sunrise to issue an apology for the coverage. Sunrise so far has refused to issue an apology, and so people are still planning on coming out and protesting outside the front of Sunrise's office. And there is currently an online petition calling on Sunrise to issue an apology that I'll put the links in the description for you to sign. And you can keep up with this campaign on Green Left Weekly where we've been covering it. You can find me on social media. You can see on Instagram, I recently, uh, Send a photo of the protest and tag Sunrise and Channel 7 on it so you can go and like that photo. And we'll finish this episode off by showing you the voices that Sunrise will not show. I'm the son of a stolen child and I'm the grandson of a stolen child. Yeah. Growing up, I didn't know my language, I didn't know my culture because of that bullshit, fucking colonial, fucking racist policy. This is a continuation of genocide and it needs to be called out for what it is. No more sugarcoating the bullshit. No more tokenistic panels of people we never chose. We ask, we, we need apology from a sunrise. From Drew McSween and Ben Davis and Samantha Armitage. Sack em. They need to go. All of them need to go. We need more inclusion in the affairs of our people. 
What can I do in the loss is genocide? Holocaust! Stop it now! None of these people want to talk about how our communities got here in the first place. 230 years of genocide, rape, murder, theft of Aboriginal land, theft of Aboriginal wages. This is what has destroyed our community. Not ordinary Aboriginal people, not our culture. Our culture has kept us strong, it's kept us together, and it's kept us unified. This is a disrespect to our culture, this is a disrespect to our people. We have smart, strong, resilient, educated black people out there, and they will not consult with us. We will not stand for it. Why aren't they doing the investigative journalism on what's happening over there on the North Shore? Why aren't they promoting us through their television stations? Why aren't they exposing the lies of Alan Jones? Why aren't they exposing the lies of this government? Black kids going into white homes and they get sexually abused and, and tortured and physically abused and some 